Yo, 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 what is going on, you guys? How you doing? You know who this is, the Chosen One. Well, you might not know. I'm wearing a hat today. The Chosen One, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you guys with the NHL main slate video by popular demand. So let's see if we get let's see if we can keep the views going, man. We keep the you guys keep watching them. I'll keep making them. If you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below. I'm wearing my lucky Stetson hat today. To keep the streak going. We're at 12. I think it's 12 days, and I'm being generous for NHL. We're just looking to keep it rolling in the DFS club because we haven't stopped winning, winning, winning. Um, so until the losing streak's up, man, I'm going to keep this hat on. And with that said, let's start the freaking show. All right, guys. So, yeah. Also, if you're returning and you forgot to hit that subscribe button, make sure you do me a solid. You guys have been amazing. Just amazing with all the love and support, all the subs, all the new members of the DFS club. God bless you guys, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the only way I can repay you is to win you more money, right? So, let's go. This was today's. Two out of three DK cashed. And I give all these lineups to the DFS club. Two out of three FanDuel cashed. And... It would have been a takedown night. Uh, I told this story in my NBA video, but I'm going to tell it again. I ran out of time today. I didn't have my normal time to do a full research on the NHL slate. So I went to a, a trusted source, which I thought was a trusted source. Hell, they're the biggest DFS thing in the, in the industry right now. Well, they have been for a while. You guys know what channel I'm talking about. They start with an A. They're pretty knowledgeable, except for NHL. So I had stacked New Jersey and I stacked Columbus because they've been they've been ice hot, man. They've been hot. And then I let these ass hats talk me off of playing those lines. Oh no way, they're not going to do good. It's a bad matchup. New Jersey hasn't played in seven days. Bozzy, Bozzy, Bozzy. Both those teams put up, like, what? I didn't even see what, what uh, Columbus did. New Jersey got, like, seven goals, I think. Columbus got, like, six goals. So the moral of the story is, one, don't ever let those assholes on that channel ever talk you off by anyone. Two, stick to your gut. Play the players that you are just hell-bent on playing because that's the difference between cashing like we did today and taking down. I would have taken down easily. There's those, those stacks were, would have been very low owned. So yeah, I'll never do that again. So how they have all those subscribers. I have no idea giving out information like that. All right. So my rant is done. It's over. If you guys want my lineups, ownership projections, top stacking, members only podcast one hour before a lot guys. Let's pull it up. Look no further than DFSclub.com, guys. That's where, you again, you get every single sport. You got two providers and one. Let me pull it up here so you guys can see. Let me fix the screen here. Okay, so you guys can see that. Pull that up there. Boom. DFSclub.com. Every single sport, guys. Every sport. From NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, UFC, College sports, WNBA, the sport that nobody watches, WNBA. Uh, EuroLeague basketball, man. We play everything. Golf. We got golf going right now. Click join now. Make sure you click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, so I get credit. And pick your plans. Cheapest in the industry, guys. Cheapest in the industry. So many uh, members have contacted me and have uh, upgraded. So congratulations to all the members that upgraded today. Um, we have our bronze, silver, gold plans, and just three-day passes if you guys want to check us out. Listen here, Jack. We do prize picks. We do sports wagering. We do, like I said, the members-only podcast one hour before lock. MLB's right around the corner, too. Um, we help you. We don't just give you. I don't just give you my lineups. I help you build the best lineups um, using the stacks that I particularly like for this particular slate. So come check us out, guys. Stop losing, start winning, dfsclub.com. Come join the winning team. All right, so 
Look at Grogu back there. Schroeder's been MIA, man. He's been sleeping through these damn things. I don't know what's up with him. I guess he don't like salmon treats, huh, Schroeder? Yeah, he's not moving a muscle over there. He's out cold. All right, guys, so let's bring up Draft Dashboard here. Let's get into this slate, man. By the way, as usual, Draft Dashboard, if you would like to check it out for yourself, it's $1 for 30 days. $1 will make you a holla. Click on the link in the description below to take advantage of that $1 deal, guys. Draft Dashboard. Let's go to the Position Optimizer. All right, so Nathan McKinnon. We got Colorado at Winnipeg. Um, Colorado, hot as usual. Winnipeg, yeah, you know, that first line I like for Winnipeg tomorrow. Other than that, I mean, probably not. But Nathan McKinnon is questionable. Took a bad puck to the face. Um, I thought it was a bad puck to the face from what I saw. Maybe that was fake news. I don't know. A lot of that going around. Um, but yeah, we'll see if he plays. If he plays, of course, I like him at 8.9K. If not, then Kadari will probably start on that first line at 7.3K. So we got Carolina at Columbus, or Columbus at Carolina. Sorry, guys. This game should be a banger. Should be very high scoring, very fast paced. You got Sebastian Ajo, first line for Carolina, 7.7K. Love this play. Then Jack Eichel for Vegas. He's 7K. I believe he's a lot cheaper on Fandel, believe it or not, because Fandel's got everybody priced up. It's just the ice time minutes, right? 18 minutes. Is slow. He's getting one minute a game increase, right? 17, 16, 18. He got that 25 last game. It's a dream matchup against Arizona, who gives up the most fantasy points to centers in the league. So Jack Eichel, a lot of people probably don't want to pay this price, but it is a dream matchup. So, yeah, that Vegas first line is in play. And then L.A., I like L.A. again. I like the L.A. first line, and I like L.A. second line. Probably the second line better, but you got Ants Kopitar, 6.2K. Um, 6, 19, 13 is last three. Last time he's Anaheim, he did get 16, so not bad for 6.2. I'm going right back to New Jersey, guys. 6K, don't let anybody tell you, oh, they took seven days off. Uh, uh, shut up. Not no one asks. Oh, my God, you guys. Why? It's my fault. It's my fault. It's not their fault. It's my fault. I know I'm better at them in NHL DFS. I, sh I should just listen to me. Stupid. Stupid. Um, but yeah, Jack Hughes, 6K, 20, 22, 23 in his last three. Been solid. I believe he was 7K today. I think his price actually dropped by a grand. I'm not mistaken. So love this New Jersey first line going up against Chicago. Uh, Philip Denault, LA second line. Yes, sir. Sign me up. 5.2K. 12, 9, 10. He does have a pretty good ceiling. He got uh, 15 and a 28 a couple of games ago. Um, but yeah, I just like the correlate line. So if I'm playing the LA second line, I'm going to put their center in there also. St. Louis has a juicy matchup going up against Buffalo. And St. Louis is at home. Rob Thomas, I like the second line for St. Louis. That's my favorite line always for St. Louis. 10, 13, 21 in his last three. And the price tag won't kill you at 5K. Carolina's second line. Yeah, I don't mind it. Vincent Trocek, 4.9K. If you just want to play him as a one-off, put him in with your first line of Carolina, sure. I don't mind that. 4.9K is kind of cheap for Trocek. Coming off a 24-point fantasy game. Um, against Columbus, his last three, 5, 13, and a 34. So not too bad there. Um, Braden Chen for St. Louis, sure, 4.1K. Nice one off, 14, 13 in his last two. Uh, and then Columbus, my team, Columbus, man, they're red hot right now. You got Boone Jenner, 6.8K, first line, 24, 17, 26 in the last three. Love me this first line. Buffalo, first line against St. Louis, no, I don't like it. Uh, Mark Scheifel. I do like the first line for Winnipeg. I think maybe they get a couple goals here. And it's going to come from this first line. He's only 5'5". Five, five, got a 20 last game. Winnipeg's been ice cold. And shout out to those of you that uh, got that question right when I asked what band was that from the 2000s that sang that song. I think it was Outcast, right? Fucking love that song. Still love that song. But yeah, I do like the first line for Winnipeg. Don't love them, but I think they're in play. 
All right, so let's look at the wingers here. So Colorado first line, we got Miko Ratton in at 7.5K. Now on DraftKings, it's a lot easier to, to jam in these expensive first lines and still have a decent lineup. FanDuel, it's damn near impossible. But if you can make it happen, you can make it happen. There's no cheap like Montreal on the slate. However, we'll find ways, man. That's what, this is what we do. So yeah, Miko Ranton in 7.5K. 15, 18, 8 in his last three. It's a great matchup at Winnipeg where, no, they're in Colorado, but he got 26 drafting points last time against them. Colorado is going to be a good cash line. Vladimir Tarasenko, St. Louis second line, 7.3K. Very close in price here, right? So you think the ownership on Tarasenko is going to be a lot lower. You best believe it's going to be a lot lower. So I'll have shares of both players, but Tarasenko will fit really nice in my St. Louis second line. I like Patrick Kane as a one-off at 7.2K. Um, last time against New Jersey, he got 24 DraftKings points. He's just a safe play for 7-2. Used to be one of the best players in the league and then kind of dropped off. Max Pacioretty for that first line for Vegas. He's 7K. Um, did he, you know, 18 and 20 in his last two. He's starting to wake up a little bit, which is good to see. 29 last time against Arizona. So this first line on paper should absolutely dominate Arizona tomorrow. So probably lower owned two than expected. Carolina first line, Andre Shevchenkov, 6.8K. Sure. I don't like the price tag. I think it's a little much, but he does have 30 point upside. Um, 10, 11, 31, 3, 31 in his last five against Columbus, 6, 30 and a 15. So. This Columbus-Carolina game should be high scoring. Gabriel Landeskog, first line for Colorado, 6.6K. 30 DraftKings points last game. Got to love it. And last time against Winnipeg, 48 DraftKings points. So if you can only fit two Colorado guys, I'd probably go with Landeskog and, and uh, Nathan McKinnon if he plays because he's a lot cheaper than Miko. And I like that history, man. I do. All right, so, and then we got, uh, who else we got? Oh, lots of guys here. Pavel Busnevich got everybody in the old prison pocket last game with that goose egg. I'm going right back to him. St. Louis, second line, 6.4K. Got tremendous upside, man. Before that goose egg, get a 31, 19, and a 21. So, I'll go right back here. Victor Arvison for LA, second line, 6.3K. Absolutely freaking lootly, man. 23, 16, 18, 11, 28. This man should be 7K. But we'll take the savings at 6.3. Second line for the Kings. You got Tivo Tavarian, 6.2K for Carolina. Carolina first line, sure. 11, 12 is last two against Columbus. Uh, pretty safe play for a 6K range. He can get you there. Another one that got us right in the old prison pocket last late was Adrian Kempe from L.A., after going on a tear for two games, came back down to earth. However, there is light at the end of the tunnel because last time against Anaheim, he did get 12. We'll take 12 at 5-6. Jasper Bratt coming off a phenomenal game. I don't mind going on, going here as a one-off. For me, Jersey, um, I like the first line. I like the first line. I'm going to say that. Second line's in play too, but Jasper Bratt, if you want to play him as a one-off or whatnot, I mean, 4 7 is too cheap, in my opinion. Trevor Moore for LA, 4.1K. First line, second line. He'll make one of the two, right? 13, 22, 2, 0, 22 in his last five. That's pretty good for only 4.1K. So, LA Kings, Trevor Moore, yes, sir. And then for New Jersey, 3.9K is all they're asking for for Igor here, Shig Sheriff Gonovich. Igor, we'll just call him Igor, okay? 18, 9, 25, 8, 4 in his last five. So for 3.9K, he played on the first line today. I can dig that. 20 minutes of ice time, too, for 3.9. Love New Jersey. Get him in there, guys. And then Nino Niederreiter, as a one off, is my value winger of the slate. He's only 2.8K. Third liner from Carolina. He was playing in that first or second line. He made it to the first line too, I believe, at one point with injuries. But it's against Columbus too, so he's one of these low low salary players that can get you there. At only two point eight k. So I do like Nino Niederreiter as a value play. 
And wait, there's more, guys. We got more. Of course, we got my man Patrick Lane, 6.5K. Did it again, guys. Got a goal again. His scoring streak right now is insane. 23, 16, 42, 7, 18 in his last five. 12, 3, 11. His first half of the season, not good. Second half of the season has been phenomenal. Phenomenal. So love the Columbus first line at 6'5". Give me Patrick Lane. I call him Patrick Lane because when he's out there skating, looks like he's changing lanes. But uh, yeah, guys, give me him for 6'5". We got Clayton Keller as a one-off for Arizona for 6-1. And why the hell not, man? 15, 20, 10, 17 is last four. Uh, Vegas is pretty tough defensively, but, you know, I think you get him a low ownership. And he's got high upside. One of the very few bright spots for Arizona. And then Blake Wheeler. He makes that first line for Winnipeg. Sign me up. 5.2K. 13, 11 in his last two. Against Colorado. I don't think Winnipeg gets shut out. All right, I don't think so. And I like these wingers here for Anaheim. Adam Henrique, 5K. Ricard Raquel, 4.8K. I do like the wingers here. Henrique, last time against the Kings, he got 18. 10, 23, 13 in his last three. And then Ricard Raquel, 31, 15, 11, 5, 10 in his last five. So four out of his last five double-digit fantasy points. So, yeah, for this... Anaheim team, I like Henrique and Raquel. It's like a two-man stack. Yaka Voratek, Vorak, sorry, Yaka Vorak. We didn't know if he was going to play today. He missed the morning skate, uh, played 18 minutes, only got eight DraftKings points, but normally he's on that first line for Columbus. If he's on the first line, you can roll him back out there at 4.2K. And, yeah, so I think that's going to do it. So you guys can hopefully see which way we're going tomorrow. Let's go to defenseman. Kale Maker, sure. You can put him in as the third option instead of Miko Ratnett. 7.1. I don't know if the price, you know, is kind of steep. I don't like paying that much for a defenseman, but it is against Winnipeg. 22, 10, 8, 13, 12. Last time it's Winnipeg, he did get 13. I don't know about that. 7-1's a little steep. Jakob Slavin, man. 5.2K for Carolina. 7-5, 22 in his last three. He played damn near 30 minutes of ice time last game. 3-12 and 12 in his last two against Carolina. I love his upside. So, yeah. Give me uh, Jacob Slavin at 5.2K. We got my favorite St. Louis defenseman, man. We got uh, what are they? Oh, Colton and Justin Falk. 4-8, 4-5 respectively. Both get double-digit fantasy points, man. That's what I love to see. Out of the two, give me Falk. But... For $300 cheaper. But I like both of them. You can stack both of them. Calvin D. Han. Like I always say about this dude, man. He blocks shots. Three block shots equals a bonus on DraftKings, which we love. 4-4, his price has come up a little bit. But not enough to where I'm not going to play him. Give me some freaking D. Han. Because he blocks shots with his body, with his face, with his arms, with his legs, with his feet, with his shins. Hopefully, you guys at home are going, what, 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 before, you know, every time, just like Stone Cold. I got, we got to start that chant, man. Uh, Matt Waugh, just like last video, 3.9K. What do you do for you guys? Told you, great value play. Got you 11 DraftKings points. Not bad. And his price has come up. But still, 3.9, sure. He gets about 20 minutes of ice time, second line. Why not? Um, uh, Braden McNabb, though, I really like at only 3.3 K he's way underpriced first liner. He plays 24 to 25 minutes a game, double digit fantasy points four out of his last five. I think it's a great matchup against Arizona and Drew Doherty got us right in the old prison pocket last game, six, five, 26 minutes, only got two, which came out of nowhere, right? Just two after getting 37, 16, 12, 14, I think he bounces back. Bounces back nicely against Anaheim. 12 last game against him. So I do like Drew Doherty. I'll go back there. And then remember when I told you about Andrew Peak? He's peaking, guys. He's still cheap. He's only 3K for Columbus. 18, 11, 10, 10, 7 in his last five. This is great value right here. So again, don't mind paying him down for defensemen. 
3K and watch this man peak, Andrew Peak, at 3K. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Let's look at goalies real quick if we have to. I actually did really good. That's how I won today, honestly, was getting those low-owned goalies. Um, that did really well. I mean, what is it, Igor from New York? If you're not playing him when he's in a slate, you got to play him. He's the best goalie in the league. I played him at low ownership, gave up one goal, had like 40 saves. Um, who else did I play? The, the Toronto goalie gave up one goal, got the win. And then uh, the San Jose goalie actually got 30 DraftKings points on, on FanDuel. DraftKings points on FanDuel. He got 30, <laughs> 30 FanDuel points. And an overtime win. So, hell, we'll take that. We will take it. So, I had good luck today with goalies. With these guys, you never know. We don't even know who's going to start tomorrow, to be honest with you. Um, man, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. Woo! Look at these. Look at these goalies that are... I mean, I'm not playing Frederick Anderson against Columbus. Uh, you can maybe go with the... Yeah, I mean, he's pricey. Maybe the uh, Colorado goalie here. Um, Connor Halibut, whenever I play this dude, he sucks, and he's going up against Colorado. So good luck with that if that's where you decide to go. Um, who's going to be in, in net for Vegas? I don't mind the Vegas goalie. Whoever, whoever it's going to be, whether it be freaking Logan Thompson or who knows, who knows. It's a good matchup against Arizona, so I do like that. I don't know, guys. Goal is you're pretty much on your own. Unless you're doing the DFS club, guys, where you get my my lineups, you get ownership, projections, top stacking, you name it, guys. We got you. Members only podcast, one hour before lock. I'm wearing my lucky hat for y'all so we can all get some takedowns today. Again, thank you guys so much. I know you guys could have been anywhere during the NHL All-Star break. NBA All-Star break. There we go. I'm tired. This is my second video. It's been a long freaking day, man. Uh, I spent too much energy being mad at, at that the other guys on YouTube that I took advice from today. But at the end of the day, you know what? I made the decision. It's my fault. Always go with your gut, like I always say. DFSclub.com. Go with your gut. Go over there. Click join now. Click my logo so I get credit. Pick your plans, and you guys are in. Lineups, ownership, projections, every single sport, members only podcast, you name it, we got you. Draft dashboard if you want to try it out. It's only a dollar for 30 freaking days. Let's go. Again, my name is Gabriel Skywalker. Thank you guys so much. If you guys keep watching these NHL videos, I'll keep making them. That's my promise to you. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.